Welcome to Bar India News R. MetaTech can track your eye movements as you roam the metaverse. Meta has a patented technology to track people's eye movements and facial expressions while they roam the metaverse and body poses as well as create virtual stores that sell ad-sponsored digital goods in an effort to monetize the metaverse dozens of recently filed patents suggest. The company was recently granted dozens of patents involving metaverse technology. It's with that one of those technologies detail how sensors inside a headset would track a user's facial expressions to adapt media content for them. The metaverse refers to a future vision of the internet which people primarily access through immersive technologies including virtual and augmented reality which requires special headsets. Meta is a metaverse and evangelist rebranding from Facebook last October to reflect its mission of becoming a metaverse company. In an interview, Meta Global Affairs chief Nick Clegg said that metaverse eye tracking data could help advertisers understand whether people engage with an advertisement or not. While this wording is vague, one potential application could be that a user's virtual avatar would mimic their real-life facial expressions. Meta uses biometric data in order to create a more realistic digital avatar using virtual reality or augmented reality. Meta also plans to collect data on users so that it could tailor specific ad content while they immerse themselves in the metaverse, the patent filing suggests. One patent filing shows a sketch of a wearable magnetic sensor system that the user places around their torso for body pose tracking. Another patent can detect a user's facial expressions through a headset. The system would then compute the expressions and adapt media content based on its findings. The company is essentially following the same business model that translates into tens of billions of dollars in profits through its social media. Meta also filed a patent for a headset that is equipped with cameras and sensors that ensure the user sees brighter graphics depending on where they are looking. The eye is designed to mate with an animatronic robot head in an effort to make the eye appear authentic to an observer according to Insider which first reported the patent filing. Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg has said his company plans to invest $10 billion per year over the next decade to develop metaverse technology. The tech titans including Apple and Microsoft have also indicated they plan to spend considerable sums of money to grab a share of the market. Let's look into today's headlines in Varitya. Nitin Gadkari emphasizes on calling more foreign investments into MSME sector. Speaking at a virtual international conference organized by the Chartered Accountants Apex Body ICAI, Union Minister Nitin Gadkari highlighted the need for attracting more foreign investments into the micro, small and medium enterprises sector as they are giving excellent viability and income to investors. He also encouraged chartered accountants to suggest ways and innovative approaches to attract maximum foreign investment into the sector. The theme of the three-day conference is accountants creating a digital and sustainable economy with more than 3,000 professionals from across the globe expected to participate. Qualcomm collaborates with Vodafone, Thales to illustrate iSIM technology. Leading industry innovators Vodafone, Qualcomm Technologies Inc. and Thales have joined forces to demonstrate a working smartphone featuring iSIM, a new technology enabling the functionality of a SIM card to be integrated into a device's main processor. The iSIM embeds the SIM functionality into the device's main processor, allowing for greater system integration, higher performance and increased memory capacity iSIM technology is a significant evolution on existing eSIM solutions and delivers wholesale benefits to both consumers and telecommunications operators. Meta announces workplace platform with WhatsApp. Meta announced that it will be integrating its workplace tool with WhatsApp in 2022, building even closer ties between the two platforms. The company says the integration is designed to make it easier for companies to reach their employees, especially frontline workers whose jobs involve dealing with customers out in the field. The new feature will allow organizations to deliver important messages to their staff directly over WhatsApp, avoiding delays inherent to services like email that are checked less frequently by frontline workers. CBI books 8 EPFO employees for Rs 18.97 crore fraud. 
The Central Bureau of Investigation has booked eight employees Provident Fund organization officials for allegedly draining more than Rs 18.97 crores from its corpus to false claims by creating fake members' accounts related to closed or inactive establishments. The CBI has booked them under various sections of the IPC and the Prevention of Corruption Act for cheating, forgery and criminal misconduct. All the eight EPFO officials named in the CBI FIR have been removed from office for their alleged involvement in the fraud. FireEye McAfee Enterprise renamed as Trilix. FireEye and McAfee Enterprise, the company created from the merger of security firms McAfee Enterprise and FireEye, will be called Trilix with an aim to become a force in the field of extended detection and response. The official said that the name is a reference to a garden trellis due to the way it supports planets as they grow. The XDR platform uses machine learning and automation to provide threat detection and response. Its technology is designed to make security operations more effective with the ability to consume more than 600 native and open security technologies. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to Bar India News Magazine. You can download the Bar India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for the latest news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.